Hello, um, thank you for being here. Um, I'm Dr. Adam Harrison, and today I'm speaking with the amazing Dr. Rashmi Sram, who uh, is a family physician in the States, um, but she's also uh, a long-term meditation and yoga practitioner, yoga instructor, meditation instructor, I think, uh, expert on gratitude and um, lots of other wonderful things. And it's a real honor and a privilege to, to be talking to her today and to, to have her time. So. Um, I've done a bit of a spiel there, but if you'd like to um, cover any things I've missed in your introduction, please do. Well, I'm grateful to be here. And as always, you are, you know, give us very high remarks and I appreciate it. I'm also um, a certified mindset coach and uh, overall integrative health coach. And so I do a lot of group coaching and individual coaching. And of course, uh, love teaching meditation and talking about gratitude and practicing it. Excellent, excellent. Thank you. Thanks for um, elaborating. Um, so we're talking about gratitude and gratitude practices. Um, is it possible just to tell me uh, a little bit of the kind of uh, differentiation between gratitude itself and a gratitude practice? For sure. So gratitude is uh, kind of just a feeling or an emotion that we can have, right? One of my favorite definitions is actually from a Benedictine monk, uh, Brother David Stendelrast, and this is what he says. He defines gratitude as the feeling of appreciation that comes when you recognize something is valuable to you, which has nothing to do with its monetary worth. That makes sense, right? Yeah. And that's really what uh, I would define gratitude as. And a gratitude practice is cultivating that feeling um, either at will or intentionally at different parts of our day. Brilliant, brilliant. That's great. And actually that makes a lot of sense because when I say thank you to people or I feel grateful for something, I'm not usually thinking, oh, I'm grateful for that television in the corner that's worth, you know, twelve hundred dollars i don't you know i don't ever kind of put any kind of monetary value on anything or thanks for your time and your hourly rate is how much you know i'm really grateful for you know so yeah no that makes complete sense to me so um thank you that's great so um why then in your opinion do you think everyone should have a, a gratitude practice so what you know what are some of the benefits of having a gratitude practice yeah, so the why is pretty wide set. Why is it's really easy? Um, and we'll actually talk about, you know, some very quick things that we can begin to do right away. But we also see not just mental benefits, but emotional well-being benefits, as well as physical well-being benefits. So there are lots and lots of studies that show uh, improvements in, in chronic inflammatory markers. So chronic inflammation decreases in folks who practice gratitude every day. We know that people report um, less less anxiety, less depression. We know that PTSD that symptoms um, also improve. And by the way, it puts us into a parasympathetic response. And so we start to see physical changes like lower blood pressure, lower heart rate. Um, and then emotionally, of course, we have these uh, pro-social behaviors and spirituality connected behaviors, things like empathy, compassion, altruism, those are lead to um, kind of a higher purpose or connectedness to others. And those are all just some of the very small amount of reasons why I think all of us should be practicing gratitude pretty much every day. Yeah, that's brilliant. Thank you. So obviously there's, um, you know, a lot more to it than just kind of like saying thank you to people for, you know, what they brought to your life or, you know, writing down things can you can you give us some examples of some ways that we can actually you know practice gratitude Daily. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, and I think that's the confounding thing about things like mindfulness and gratitude is that they are incredibly simple and we may already be doing some of them which are, without necessarily giving ourselves credit for it. So, you know, when you say just simply thanking someone, but well, that is a big deal. It really mm -hmm. is. And so we can really just be sending someone a silent blessing, you know, feeling grateful for whatever, you know, moment that we're in mm -hmm. or some of the more specifics, if we really want to cultivate a gratitude practice that's more formal, it would, you know, there are two that I recommend when I'm working with my clients that really have a huge return on investment. And so the first is to write a detailed gratitude letter to someone. Mm -hmm. And they've done these studies actually a few different times. And what they've shown is you don't even have to give the letter to the person that you wrote it about. But what you see is, are these enormous benefits. So people started to report decreases in anxiety and depression, as well as feeling more connected and feeling more joyful and feeling more vibrant just from spending 15 to 20 minutes writing this letter once a week 
in, mm. even if they didn't give it to someone. So mm. that's the first one. And the second one is also equally as simple and it's to keep a simple gratitude journal. And so I usually have folks keep a gratitude journal at the end of their day. And so it can be three things, it can be four things, it can be 20 things. And so it can just be a way of self-reflection to begin with, but also there is something different than yeah. having a thought to actually writing it down. It just becomes more powerful. So when we make it very specific, specific. And when we write it down, we will start to see more benefits show up for us. So there's, there's something really powerful, isn't there? And clearly it has a, a scientific basis as well in something going from your, your brain down your arm, through your hand, through the pen and onto the paper, rather than just saying it or typing it or something that's, yeah. That's right. Yeah. And there's more areas of the prefrontal cortex and more areas of the brain that are just involved in the whole process as well. Yeah. And um, a, a, a mutual um, good friend of ours, uh, Dr. Darren Davidson, um, we were talking in our clubhouse room last week with you when you totally blew my mind on uh, all of this uh, gratitude practice work um, because I just didn't realize there was so much to it and, and how, how empowering and good for the health it is. Um, but he also says that uh, when you when you're reflecting on something you're grateful for, to try and um, relive that the feeling that you had at the time, is that right? That's a brilliant practice, absolutely. So we, you know, anytime we're feeling constricted, so whether it's like guilt, shame, anger, um, it's not really serving us most of the time, right? So one quick way to move from that constriction to more expansiveness, which is really where not just that we feel good, like we said, but we do good. When we feel good, we do good for others yeah. is to practice gratitude. And so you can always bring in exactly like Dr. Davidson was saying, we can bring in, a, a, you know, we can call, recall a time when we felt extremely grateful or a joyful moment and yeah. we can really just go through it very very specifically which is also a powerful practice yeah and there was another fantastic um you know example that you gave us uh last week which was um talking about being grateful for your feet yeah you just, i you am tell us about that briefly <laughs> yeah i and, and i am too but i hadn't thought well i do kind of think about it because i do sometimes use podiatrists and I recognize that, you know, your feet, your eyes and your teeth are really important, but, but, you know, something you said about it the other day really kind of struck a chord. Can you share that with us? Sure. Yeah. I, I uh, have just a whole host of automated gratitude practices that have been baked into my life for, you know, the last several years. And they really came into play when I began to train as a meditation teacher, as a mindfulness teacher. And so one of the things that I had talked about was, you know, the first thing when I wake up, I, I, I bring to mind the things I'm grateful for. And then, you know, and then also there's a gratitude practice that's baked into my meditation practice. And then the third, third way that I bring it in is with just a quick abhyanga massage. It is just a, uh, it can be done with oil, but it can also just be a quick massage that you do for yourself right before you take a shower. Yeah. And one of the reasons that we do that massage, other than actually touch and feel and the dopamine that that releases, mm -hmm. is that we then bring in gratitude and the intention of gratitude. And so I do, if I'm, you know, rubbing oil on my feet, I am very grateful for my feet for I, for every toe. I'm grateful for every toe. And then I move to my ankles and then my, you know, calves. And so it's just a really simple and it sounds so silly, but it really um, allows me to go into my day in just a different mindset than if I just like ho-hum, like I'm worried about this, this, and this, which I used to do, by the way, for, you yeah. know, dozens of years. So that's, it's just one silly way that I bring in gratitude. I don't think it's silly at all. I think it's really, really lovely. And, um, you know, I literally puts a spring in your step, I think, doesn't it? You know, it's uh... OK. So um, quickly, how can people uh, get in contact with you if they'd like to um, use your services or talk to you more about this? Absolutely. So I am on LinkedIn. I'm just, it's just my name, Dr. Rashmi Shram. I'm on YouTube. I have a channel with lots of mindfulness exercises that people would like to try. I'm on Instagram. My website is optimalwellnessmd.org. I'm offering uh, some really good deals on weekly meditations that are all live. And then of course I do group coaching. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching and love to connect. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I'll put the links in, in, um, in the post and uh, details about your, uh, your, your deals and things at the moment. And uh, yeah, thank you so, so much. I am genuinely really grateful for, for your time and having you explain this to us and for us to share with the world. Thank you so much, Rashmi. Same. I've, I'm very, very grateful to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day.